So apparently the water and apple cleanse will just flush that glass of wine right out. Nice. Yeah. A mm -hmm. uh, little update for me, I got carded at the liquor store today. <laughs> You're like 27. But I have a fake ID that says I'm 19. <laughs> nice. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> I did a decathlon this morning. Oh my god. That's great, Steve. Yeah, yeah that triple jump, I mastered it. Look at you. You are lucky that you got hooked up with me. Okay, because I'm not like the other guidance counselors here. I mean, look at me, I'm only 25. Okay, I get you. I get what it's like to be a student, because I was a student. Here, literally, I went to this school. Cool. Yeah, I still have a locker. I want you to open up to me, okay? Tell me what's really going on. I understand. I shop at Stitches. Exhaust jeans. It's just grade 12, you know, it's, uh... It's pretty competitive. Um, the work's getting tougher, uh, and I'm just busting my ass like everyone else, but uh, I don't know what I'm competing for. I don't, everyone has these big dreams and stuff, and like, I don't know where I'm going or what I want to hey, do. It's, hey, Sam, it's okay. It's okay, relax, relax. This is your time to shine, okay? This is your time to have fun. High school is a party, preparing yourself for the university party. The five years you're gonna have and have a blast. Okay? Where are you applying? Um, well, my parents are really yeah. into this stuff, so... U of T, McGill, no. No. Uh, UBC, oh. Kings. No, no. You know, I did my SATs just for Ivy League stuff oh. in case. No, I look, gonna... I'm gonna give you a piece of advice that's really good. Okay? If you only apply to party schools, you'll only get in to party schools. That's what happened to me, right? And I okay. went to a party school. You don't want to end up in a regular school with libraries and dorms. What kind of school doesn't have libraries or dorms? Not where I went. Where'd you go? University of Phoenix. Online. Still a party. Remember that. Look, I'm gonna give you a challenge, okay? I want you to release some stress <clears throat> and go out there and find some girls. You need to relax. You're a good-looking guy like me, you know? You're kind of like Stefan or Kel. The better-looking Stephen Urkel. Look, you gotta enjoy high school, okay? You gotta go out there and get your Mac on, okay? It's like, return of the Mac. Riding in my funk mobile. Okay, who do you like? What girls? Going to my soul shack. <laughs> Cynthia's really sweet. She's Cynthia. really cool. Yeah. She's got the ponytail and the freckles? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Don't hit on her. I tried it on Thursday, and she just blew me off. What's that about? I mean, look at me. I look like you, but just a little older. Not that much older. I mean, look at... Your job, maybe, is... No. I mean, it's different. If you went to the school, it doesn't matter if you hit on someone who goes to the school. And she's almost 19. What I have for you is a list of girls that I think are really hot. And I want to... I'm going to cross off Cynthia. She wasn't that hot. And what I want you to do is find some of these girls. I've rated them from hot to not. And who wore it best. Find these girls. Hit on them. Have sex with them and you're gonna have a whole other high school experience. Okay. Don't let that get on ICQ. I don't even know what ICQ is, so. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you in a week, Sam. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Corey Matthews. Boy Meets World. Topanga. Yeah. <laughs>
Probably religious. No, not religious studies. Gaelic cooking? Mm -mm. No, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that to the special rugby team. They need that guy. No, he's the only one who understands what that one kid says. Spanish. Yeah, no. Guidance. Yeah, good call. All right, talk to you later. One of you guys is getting cut. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good news. You can't cut guidance. Nah, it's essential. We're, yeah, we're like transit. Yeah, they're cutting that too. How am I going to get here? I don't know. It doesn't matter. They don't need you anymore. They have other resources. Right? Come on, you guys know about kids' help phone, right? 24-7 kids can call and get the help they need. Social media, kids meeting other kids online. Uh, big brothers, big sisters. Big sister. This can't be news to you guys. Dan Savage. Fred Savage. But one of you One of you guys. Go bye bye. Move. I'm not gonna have sex with you right now. Wiener. This is terrible. This is a disaster. I just sponsored a pony and a kid in Guatemala. Listen, Mrs. Chan, it was one night of passion, of us pleasuring each other, of you pleasuring me. All right, I just can't... I, I can't understand what you're saying. The, the accent is... I gotta go. What are you looking at? Uh... What are you looking at? My, uh, my guidance counselor? Sit down! Okay. I'm Steve Barnes! <laughs> Did you just look at the picture of my daughter? No. You look at you want to sex up my daughter, you no. sexy piggy eyes? Huh, you little sexy little piggy? Don't. I won't. What's your name? Uh, Ari Shulman. Homeroom. It's, it's Miss Chan. Yeah, it's sex with her. Okay. It's a problem. Um, uh, I'm being uh, bullied. Yeah, of course you are. Look at you. Seriously, look at yourself. Your prime bullying material. I'd bully you. Bully you to sh Please don't. Who's bullying you? Uh, he's, uh, he's a guy in my class. His name's uh, Alessandro Fieri. <laughs> oh, Alessandro Fieri, yeah. One of my best friends. Great guy. Fantastic guy. And handsome. Handsome's okay. all hell. The, uh, Pronounced South American features, the strong chin and the, the blue eyes that just just pierce to your soul. Mahogany complexion, the smooth, smooth, muscular, taut body. It's a great guy. Uh, yeah, he's a pretty good looking guy, I guess. Uh, so uh, we were in uh, tab class. Miss Richie was doing attendance, right? Yeah, yeah. I've seen her naked. Well, the top half. I've seen her boobies. This one twice. Uh, she's taking attendance, and uh, she called my name, uh, Ari, right? Uh, and then he, uh, Alessandro comes in, and he goes, Ari, don't you mean fart pee? Because <laughs> <laughs> your name rhymes. Oh, that's... That's rich. I, <laughs> That's I, really I good. Find it funny. <laughs> I would have gone like, "Don't you mean farm sneeze?" or "Don't you mean shark flea?" I would have said something like that more. But I Steve think Barnes, uh, more like, uh, more like uh, sheet farms. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? Nothing. I just didn't say anything. Don't rhyme my name. Don't, Don't ever rhyme my name. Your breath smells like onions. Because I had onions for lunch, and I'm having for dinner. You're pathetic. Okay. You're pathetic. Look at you. You're a piece of crap. Do you know why all the teachers and the kids all pick on you? Oh my God. Do you know why parents at the PTA meeting pick on you? Do you know why? No. Because you hate yourself. You don't like yourself, so no one else likes you either. Do you see anybody picking on me? Nobody picks on me. When I walk by, people smell the air because it smells so good because I love myself. He'll go, I want to have sex with that guy, or I want to hang out with that guy. I hope he punches me in the face, because that's a compliment coming from him. Okay. Because I love myself. Okay. And until you start loving yourself, no one else is going to love you either. Okay.
Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you for, for a everything. huge day with Mrs. Boyer. Okay. Full body massage. Okay, Kyla, well, I feel like we should just continue where we left off last week. I felt like we were really making some progress there. Yeah, me too. Really? Oh, yeah. Great. So did, did you have a chance to speak with Sergio? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I, I knew it was going to be different this time, like like we talked about. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I just walked up to him, and I was like, Sergio, you know, the, the order is going to be different this time. And, like... Just take that half pound of weed and and like double it up for me. What? No, 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 no. Kyla, no, that's not at all. That's not the exit strategy we talked about. I know. It's, no, I, no, I, it's I, totally I, different. I'm hearing you, but it's like it's really sweet, bud. So I'm gonna be able to just sell it in no time, make some sweet coin. And no, weed. Kyla, you can't. You can't be dealing and selling the rest of your. You didn't. You're not saying. You can't work. be selling the rest of your life. I don't. You can't, Kyla. You can't be selling the rest of your life. Yeah. Okay? And I don't know if anybody told you this, but it's illegal. What? I didn't know that, that it was illegal. <laughs> really? No, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that. Well, great, because I didn't want to have to talk to the authorities, but I just thought maybe you and I should have a quick... It's just, um, it's just that, this is hard, um, uh, I have to sell weed so I can pay the bills at my grandmother's retirement home. It's just been really hard for me and emotional and uh, yeah. I just can't imagine her being on the street. Just no. got like a, like a heart condition and um, she grew up during the depression so she's um, God. She's illiterate and depressed, too. <laughs> I'm so proud of you right now. I'm proud of me, too. For opening up to me and, and being so honest. <laughs> I'm going to have a really good cry about this later. <laughs> but that's why we do this, right? I mean, just to, to get through it all and to discuss it so we can better your life and, and better your depressed grandma's life. I hope so. I hope so, too. And that's why now's the time to make some big choices in your life, Missy. Have you thought about colleges yet? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking Princeton. Look, I need a good job, right? I need to be able to make money. And if I can't go there, then I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Just, uh, just deal other... You should deal the news. I can get you a job dealing the news. You can be, an, an, you can be an, a paper boy, girl. Paper girl. And... I know a guy, and you can deliver to your, all the neighbors in your neighborhood, and you can learn about current events, and it'll change everything. You'll make some pretty sweet corn. Um, did, you, did you just say sweet corn? Yeah, it's, it's, it's sweet corn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. That is, sweet corn is the saying. Great. Can, can you used to be reached on that pager? Oh, always. Okay, yeah. great. Well, I'll have him give you a call tonight. <laughs> what am I... We'll just call him now. Oh, what? It's That's... my buddy, Jerry. He knows exactly what's happening. Okay. Jerry, Jerry, it's the bruiser. Uh, Bruce. It's, it's Bruce Templeton from Pine Ridge. Yeah, great. I've got, I've got a student here. Look, Sam, I want to get this out of the way. I have to apologize for my behavior on Saturday at the party. You weren't invited. I got out of control. I mean, too many Molson 67s and I lost it. But to be honest, it felt really good to dance. Okay, well, I'm glad. Thanks for getting me home. I shouldn't have left a bro hanging like that, so thank you. Yeah, no problem. We good? Please, you know. Don't crash any more student things. I'll keep it in control next time. Okay. 
Now, tell me how it went with the ladies. La 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 ladies. It was crazy, it was good. Yeah, fun? Yeah. Yeah? Um, okay. For like five minutes, and then things got really political and messed up. Oh, yeah. it didn't take five minutes. I got you. No, no, no uh, I got you. But like Dylan and Sarah are in this break, right? So, yeah, I got in the middle of that. So she caught you in the shower, wasn't me. And she caught you in the kitchen, it wasn't me. And I got you in the diner, wasn't me. Say it wasn't you. Yeah, it was me. Right. So I feel like crap. Okay. Okay. Here's where the plus is. This is why I want you to do this stuff. Because in a year, you're moving off to university. No one's going to remember this awful stuff. They're going to remember the legend that is you the same way they remember the legend that is me. I'm still here. Imagine what that legend's like. That guy was so awesome. Well, let's go see him. He's upstairs. Okay. What you want to be careful about is birth control. You know about the old BC? Birth control! <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm good. No, like the ones you buy. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Jimmy's. Jimmy Hats. Yep. Yeah. Always use it. Always. Sometimes in a pinch, you don't have them. But you still want to ride that punt mobile. So, here's some options that you can do, okay? Right after you're done having sex, get her to play Twister. With all that movement, you know. Use tinfoil. I mean, you can put an ice cube in that in the microwave, it won't even melt. What we have to do is we've got to relieve your stress. That's my job here, okay? Make you comfortable for university, okay? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So let's get out there this weekend, me and you, and party it up. Old school. Okay? Jagger bombs, jello shots, port. And me and you are going to ride the cowboy. Where are we going? Uh, hey, um, did you get invited to Cynthia's thing? Yeah. How do you know about that? I heard about it. Does she, okay. like, is her parents home? Is that the problem? Um, well, no, That's weird. I think... Okay. Well, okay. That doesn't matter. What we do is I'll go with you, okay? We'll pick up some beers, and we'll head in there together. And then I will teach you what it's like to party university style. Can it not be a personal project if you really, you know? I'm sure I can do that just fine on my own. I can... Yeah. Here's my GeoCities. On my own? Uh, yeah, you email me on your own. Write down your address. If you can pick me up, um, that'd be great. I just have my bike. Okay, cool. Okay. Like a motorcycle, that's Schwinn. sick. Okay. It's a bicycle. Right. Just handlebars, I guess. That's cool. So is it like a spray? It's just greasy. That's all. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. You ready to do this this weekend? Mm hmm. Yep. Whoop. I'll see you soon. Shh. DJ Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> Philip Banks. got to say for yourself, Miss Sykes. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. I'm sorry I'm late is right. I've been worried sick about you. Yeah, I'm like five minutes late. Do you know what can happen in five minutes? Do you know what can happen in, in five seconds? I could die. Moving on, uh, how was, how was your, your first week of work? It was great. Yeah, it was. It was great. It was super, super great. Super great. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's nice to be working at something that's like, quasi legit. So. <laughs> the the newspaper industry is booming. It's it's very legitimate, Kyla. Oh no no yeah, I, I get that. No no, I mean um, like I've, I've been able to like, mesh my my two careers together, kind of like, just 
streamline the Streamlining. whole thing. <laughs> Look at it's you go. crazy how many early morning dads smoke weed. It's the best. <laughs> I've already what? sold that that pound from, from Sergio. I've, mm. I've got back orders coming up my no, ass. No, no, like, no, 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 no. Kyle, it's amazing. No, it's not amazing. No, it's, you can't be selling to, to early morning dads, okay? You can't, these are family men, Kyle. Haven't you seen Breaking Dad? Yeah, I, I've seen the show Breaking Dad, and it's not like that, so you can chill out. I am chilled out, Kyla, but marijuana is a gateway drug. It's a gateway drug, okay? And next thing you know, these men will be filleting their neighbors to feed their habits. Look, a lot of people smoke weed, and they never move on to anything harsher. Well, how do I explain this to you? Okay, uh, you've got, you've got uh, a pager, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, one day you're gonna say, hey, this, this page is not enough for me. I'm, I need a cell phone. I have a cell phone. Well, why don't I have the number? Because I don't want you to have the number. So, um, so, so you'll, you'll say, I, I need a better cell phone. And you'll say, uh, oh, I need to get myself the latest iPhone or one of those uh, ice cream sandwich phones or an, an iPad or a, a MacBook Pro Logic or a refrigerator that, that will talk to me when I'm sad. Are you seeing the problem here? I think you're the problem here. All I'm trying to say, Kyla, is the pager is the refrigerator as is to heroin, okay? One thing leads to another. If you don't have any of them, you don't have to deal with these issues. You know, with all due respect, sir, that that's a really ignorant way to live. Ignorance is bliss, Kyla. When I was an infant, inside of my mother's tummy, I had a twin brother. And one day, when my mother was at the doctor's office getting her ultrasound, they watched me devour him because I was hungry. They never forgave me for that. And for that reason, they never hugged me my entire life. My parents died in a terrible fire. When I got their will, I saw that in their will, they had already asked to be cremated, so I couldn't hug their bodies after they died. I've never been hugged. Don't you wish you didn't hear that story? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so ignorance is bliss, <laughs> right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go from this room now, so. Uh, Kyla, you still owe me five minutes. Okay. Okay. I will never hug you ever, okay? Okay. 